Turning now to weather, and it was a beautiful Saturday. Crystal clear blue skies for miles. Meteorologist Lauren Casey joins us from home. Lauren, tomorrow you're forecasting some warmer temperatures. Indeed, we're going to boost the temperatures even further, Joe. It's been a pretty cool start to spring so far with typically below average temperatures. But today we had those above average high temperatures in the 70s for most of us in Philadelphia. It was the first 70s we have felt since April 13th. Check out some of these current conditions across the region. Abundant sunshine, 73 in AC, 72 in Philly under a mostly sunny sky. Bright sunshine and 72 in Allentown doesn't get much better than that. That. Some low 60s right now with sunshine and the Poconos, some great hiking weather. And as we head into the evening hours, though the second half of the evening skies are going to start to cloud up. Though we stay very mild throughout the overnight period, can leave those windows open, only falling back into the upper 50s. A weak warm front will lift through the area and generate some light shower activity. But then as we head towards the morning hours, we should see a break in any kind of precipitation. Getting a live look right now at Cape May, no clouds and no shower showers in the scene right now. A couple of people out there taking a social distancing stroll along the coast. Storm scan three showing us starting to see a few high level clouds trying to build on it in association with our weak disturbance Some showers up towards New York State. And again, we do have the chance at seeing a few light showers developing, especially late tonight, scattered in nature after midnight tonight. So if you do have any plans to take a little bit of a stroll this evening, not going to have to worry about any wet weather. Our low temperature falls back to 59 degrees for our day tomorrow. We're back up into the 70s and even a few degrees warmer. 76 would be one of our warmest of 2020 so far. Clouds though with some breaks of sunshine, a few spotty showers around, especially south of Philadelphia, but our precipitation chances you can see there not too great, but they do start to increase, especially as we head into the 10 o'clock hour and that's when we will see our best chance of rain. It's going to be tomorrow night, so future weather is going to illustrate that for us. Few showers around tonight. This is a European model. It's the most aggressive with our rain chances, so we could see a few spotty showers around again throughout the day tomorrow, especially south of Philadelphia. I think most of us staying dry. And then as we head into tomorrow night, cold front moves in and we will see some areas of rain developing. Best chance. Delaware, the shore and South Jersey, though the rain shield could lift as far north as Philadelphia and some of our northern suburbs. The rain continues to move through as we head into tomorrow night. View thunderstorms possible as well tomorrow night. Again, best chance south as we head into the day on Monday. We start to clear out. We'll see some sunshine breaking out, but with colder air moving in, that could create some instability and maybe the chance of an isolated thunder shower throughout the day on Monday. But the main event is going to come on Sunday night. You'll notice that in our future precipitation amounts. Again, we're going to see that best chance and the most rain across portions of Delaware and down the shore. Your seven day forecast. We're back to sunshine with a chance of just an isolated thunder shower on Monday, a bit cooler 67 degrees, and then we go below average, but not terribly so Joe as we head into next week temperatures in the low 60s kind of some spotty shower chances, but nothing too major into next week. Very good. Lauren Casey, thank you so much.